Hi, it's Marcus. I'm a third year medical student at the University of Cambridge, and I recently graduated from the IB with 43 points. In this video, I'm gonna be talking through eight tips to help you get an A in TOK that I learned from my time doing the IB. So let's get started. My first tip is to really engage in class discussions. TOK isn't something that can just be learned from a textbook and regurgitated like a recipe. TOK to be done well really needs to be studied in depth. This is important because it helps you think about the subject matter. And by engaging in class discussions, you're going through the thought process that TOK requires without putting in any extra effort. You can then apply this thought process to your assessments, your TOK essay, and your presentation, making these a lot more fluid and easier to write because you've already practiced this a ton by engaging fully in class discussions. Now this isn't to say that TOK can't be learnt. So tip two is to use the textbook. The textbook has mountains of information. Skim past the bits that you find least interesting and get to the parts where you can really dig your teeth into, where the discussion occurs. Because this sort of discussion and evaluation of different ideas that are present in the book is the sort of thing that you're going to have to do in your presentation and your essay. Tip three is to do the presentation in a pair. I cannot stress how important this is. I did my presentation with a partner and it went so much better than it would have alone for many reasons. Firstly, the presentation flowed much better with the differences in pace, keeping the presentation more engaging overall. We had better brainstorming potential because we could bounce ideas off of each other. And this led to far more developed insight and developed ideas that we could then put into our presentation. Also, having 20 minutes instead of 10 minutes is such a huge advantage. In TOK presentation, you want to go deep into different areas of knowledge. And I don't think 10 minutes is enough time to discuss your real life situations, your knowledge question, and then really discuss this deeply in two areas of knowledge. If you want those high grade boundaries, seven, eight points out of 10, then you need that extra time doing the presentation with a partner. Tip four is to use simple structures. This is for your essay and your presentation. There's a reason they basically give you assignment structures for these pieces of work where typically you discuss the topic and the knowledge question that you're going to be focusing on first, and then you go into your claims and counterclaims for each area of knowledge, and finally you end with a reasons conclusion that takes into account everything that you've talked about prior. This may sound stupid and really simple, but keeping to this basic structure will help you lose unnecessary marks where you shouldn't be doing. So. Tip five is to choose the areas of knowledge you're most comfortable with. When I was doing IB, I did chemistry, biology, and economics higher level. So naturally, I gravitated towards the natural sciences and social sciences areas of knowledge. Similarly, if I was doing something more arts related, then I would probably pick the arts as one of my areas of knowledge. If you've done mock essays or mock assignments, then use the ones that you've used in those classes that you've received feedback on. You don't need to go out of your way to learn something you don't really know, like ethics. Just because it'll be a lot harder to find good real life situations and actually evaluate things effectively. And you won't be able to argue things as well, since you just don't really know the content. So stick to the areas of knowledge that you're most familiar with. Tip six, use your other subjects as inspiration for your real life situation. So finding real life situations can be really tough, but anything can really be a real life situation. And in the presentation, the way you go from a real life situation to a knowledge question can be quite convoluted and complex. But the idea is with real life situations is these are things that have happened to you and are associated with your life. So pick things that are quite personal and not generic. I would suggest taking things that you have learned in other subjects, particularly where you've gone deeply, such as with IAs, where you find something that's contradictory, or doing an experiment where you think it should have worked, but it doesn't. This extrapolation from other subjects funneling into your real life situations shows the examiner that you're engaging TOK in your other subjects, and they will give you brownie points for that. Tip seven is to use the IB lingo. Using this very specific IB language will help you boost your grades because it allows the examiner to tick off that you have done specific things because you're explicitly signposting here I'm doing this, and they'll tick off the boxes they need to to give you the marks. You can find these keywords in the IB TOK syllabus or mark scheme. Tip eight is to use your peers. Use your peers to discuss knowledge questions with, ask them, do you think this is okay? Does this make sense? Is this a stupid question? Is this an okay knowledge issue? What do you think of this real life situation? It's okay, you can receive input. You can chat to other people about this stuff. It isn't plagiarism. Often talking to other people and trying to explain your ideas to them, even if they don't say anything, will help you see your own ideas differently. And this can go a long way in developing your assignments to be on the next level. I hope this video has been helpful and I'll see you in the next one.